Well, hi everyone, warm welcome back to the channel. Three things coming your way in this video. Number one, we're adding some razzle dazzle to the exterior of the caravan, courtesy of Silky. They sent us some cleaning products to try, and I want to get a shine back on the fiberglass front and back of the van, so stay tuned for that. Number two, We've ditched the 12 volt hairdryer. Why I hear you cry? Well, you might know if you saw the last video, but stay tuned for the reasons why and something for you to look out for. And number three, we're flying the flag for Caravantastic and Caravanners Everywhere. So stay tuned and enjoy the rest of this video. Well, hi everyone, and a warm welcome back to the channel. We're about ready to go. We've just got one or two exterior jobs to do, and then we really are on our way. So I've been sent some products from Silky. A chap called Finley contacted me, asked me if I'd like to try them. I think you must have seen uh, one of the cleaning videos that I did right at the beginning of the year. Now, I'm not being paid any money uh, to review these products. I've not been asked to say anything positive about them. I've purely been sent them to try, and to be fair, they've sent me the full range of Silky products. So I would think over the course of the next 12 to 18 months, uh, I'll have the opportunity to use just about everything that they've sent to me. The first thing I've got to do is wash the van. So what I've got here is this uh, Enviro wash and wax. And in terms of instructions, rinse surfaces before use, a shake bottle and mix 25 to 35 mils with six to eight liters of warm or cold water. Using a soft, clean sponge, we recommend a microfiber sponge. Uh, clean surfaces from the top down, always ensuring the vehicle is wet. Complete the wash and then a water rinse. So we'll try that in a moment. What I'm gonna try then is a product that you might be familiar with, but I've never used any Silky products. And this is a cream cleaner, again, designed for caravans, boats, and non-PVC um, surfaces. So I wanna try this on the, on the back, see if I can get a shine on the back, and also on the front of the caravan as described. So this is a Silky cream, it's non-irritating, it's non-abrasive, it's no scratch. It's a cleaning cream and it leaves surfaces smooth and gleaming. Well. We will see, we'll put this Silky product to the test. I've never used Silky products, remember? And finally, although I won't use it today, I know full well that once we set off and arrive at wherever it is we decide we're going, I know that when we get there, it'll look like it's never been cleaned. So Silky have also sent me this dry and shine uh, instant detailer. It's a waterless motorhome and caravan cleaner. It's suitable for final detailing or valeting of premium high gloss finishes, such as plastic moldings, bright work, and also paint work. So that'll be interesting to try that probably when I get to site, depending on what the weather is doing. And so far this year, it's been nothing but wet, windy, and cold. Right, so don't worry, I'm not gonna do an entire video of you watching me clean the caravan. But I uh, just want you to see how this does. So I'm gonna have a quick mix around in here. First thing to say is not a lot of foam. So uh, just to say actually, when I've uh, put some more water in the in the bucket it has firmed up quite nicely so, so that's pretty good right well that's the top of the van clean now it wasn't particularly filthy you remember that i gave this a good going over at the beginning of the year in january before we went out for the first time but we do get uh, a bit of debris off these trees it came from the chapel on the other side and also a lot of birds nest up here so the birds do leave little uh, gifts for us on top of the caravan so before i started there was lots of bird muck Lots of debris from the leaves, a few black marks, uh, but overall, given that I've just given that a quick rinse and then a wash with the silky Enviro Clean, and then just rinsed it off nice and shiny. Let's get on with the rest of the van. Now, when I wash the van, I always do a section at a time. So I started off with the roof, obviously, it's a five minute job because it wasn't particularly dirty, but it's come up lovely. And now I go down to do sections so I've just washed this section so quite a lot of suds soap on it it has removed all the marks that I have at the back here so they all they've all gone I do get 
all the spiders come out to play when I'm washing. I don't know why, they always do. So that's just been washed, top down, obviously. So give it a rinse now. So I just shower that off. I never use any high pressure, you know, pressure washers or anything like that on the caravan. Because I have learnt, particularly with this one anyway, once it's dented, it's probably going to stay that way. So high pressure, pressure washers. I think there's every likelihood you could damage the van and I don't think it'll get it any cleaner than just what I've done anyway. So, so just showering off the suds on this side and then I'm going to move around and do the front. Yeah, that's, uh, that's come up nice and clean. It was dirty, it wasn't filthy. But for the job that I want to do today, which is to focus on the fiberglass, front and back, the plastic areas, I need to clean the whole van. So that's what we're doing. Over to the front. Same again, just literally two or three minutes washing the front of the van. Now a rinse off with the hose on shower mode is all that's needed. A big chunk of the front, of course, is the Perspex windows. When we clean those up with Vuplex, might do that before we go as well. Because these bits here are particularly dull. They look good now because they're wet. When I've dried this off. This will be the one part of the van that just doesn't really shine like the rest. The front and the back. Right, let's go around the other side. So on the back now, just giving that a, a wash as well. What have these graphics put on, by the way? I did say, when I wash the caravan, they're not going to peel off, are they? And I said, no, they can't peel off, but um, they wouldn't recommend using a pressure washer on, which, as I've just mentioned, uh, I don't. So that's just as well. So give that a rinse. I have got a little bit of touching up I want to do on the paintwork, because I've got one scratch there. You see that? And I've had that from day one. And it's, uh, <clears throat> I think we didn't buy this van brand new, as you know, if you're a regular. It was just a few months old when we got it. But I think the person that bought it put a bike on the back and they've uh, they've just put a little scratch in here, which I think I can polish that out. I'm hoping the silky might even help do that. But if not, I've got some uh, matching paint so I can just dab a little bit in there. So I might as well. I've also lost a bit. I don't know how that's happened, but just at the top there on the black, I don't know if you can pull that out or not. Just a couple of white marks where, where the transfer, black transfer graphics are coming off or been chipped off, should I say. Just where I'm spraying now. I'll see if I can touch those up with something as well. So there you go, we're all, all washed and rinsed on the back now. Right, final bit to rinse on this side. This side is the side next to the trees and I'm always surprised it doesn't get uh, really bad actually. I do clean the van regularly, but um, I always thought this side would be the worst, but if anything, it's not. It's, it tends to be better, you know, down here where you get the, the seals and out of the bottom, look how nice and clean they are. And yet on the, uh, the side near the house, they do go a little bit, you know, stained and green at times. So maybe a bit of this silky detailing will help. Anyway, let's carry on rinsing. Right, here we have it. One caravan washed and cleaned. Top, front, back and both sides. So, yeah, happy with that. It's nice and, and clean. It's a wash and a wax, so it's got quite a shine on it, which is quite good. I haven't done the windows with my Vuplex yet. I might do that in a little while. I'm in desperate need of a cup of tea, so I think it's definitely tea break time. So as far as the uh, wash and wax with the silky clean goes, good job. 
not at all unhappy with that. Now I have chamois and hopefully you might be able to pick this up on the camera but there's no real shine. The front seems to be a little bit duller than the back on the van. Bit of work to do in terms of detail here. Completely understand that. I'll, uh, I'll work on that at a later date. But these bits here look in terms of detailing, still the little black marks, I'm going to try and get those out now. Well, I've just had my cup of coffee, come back out, and it started to rain. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get the silky on while it's wet. However, what I can do is I can apply this dry and shine. So where I was talking about some of the detailing, see like here even though it's being washed you've still got these sort of greeny grimy bits in the cracks here and you can apply that to a wet surface apparently so the fact that it's only a little bit of light rain a little bit of drizzle I could just have a go at that I think and if rain stops play then I might have to do the sort of plastic fiberglass stuff um, another time but let's just see I'll give this a go hang on a sec spray position that's what we want so spray that all down this little side bit here it smells good <laughs> it certainly smells like it's got something in it to clean detergents of one kind or another so here we go oh it's getting all this green out straight away i can see the green running down the side Oh, can you see all that green coming off? That's pretty good. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Obviously you'd expect it to come off on the cloth to some degree. But um, it's just got all that grime off this side, let's try a bit more of that. Silky, you haven't said to say good things or bad things, so I'm just saying it as it is. Yeah. Can I just say a massive thank you to everyone who put a comment in the last video, particularly where that 12 volt hairdryer was concerned, because if you remember, I'll play a little clip back for you now, the thing kept cutting out and blowing a fuse. Wait till the red lights come on. Yeah. Is that real? Oh, baby. Come oh. on, put it on full. It's blown up. Now the fuse it was blowing was a 10 amp fuse, which is right underneath where I'm sat now. I couldn't work out why that was. Um, I changed the fuse and I put a 15 amp fuse in and then it seemed to work fine. But I was concerned that that was the wrong thing to do and what I did, I asked for your comments on whether I should be putting a 15 amp fuse in or is it really going to cause any problems, which in my mind I knew it probably would be. The feedback was fantastic, uh, a number of you have come back and said um, get that fuse back to a 10 amp. If we kept working with the um, a 12 volt hairdryer that we had, which was just drawing far too much power on the wiring system in the caravan, it would have burnt it out. And as one um, of the subscribers said, potentially could have caused a fire, which is extremely alarming. Now, I didn't buy the hairdryer, Helen did, but when she bought it, she bought it in good faith because one, she was looking for 12 volt and two, she was looking for caravan. And there was a picture of a caravan actually on the hairdryer box as well. Uh, but when you look at it closer, it actually, I think it was called a K 
car, a 12 volt car hairdryer. So absolutely no good for a caravan. Anyway, we've decided that going forward, Helen will be drying her hair El Naturel outside in the uh, fresh air, hopefully with a breeze. So there you go folks, be careful with the 12 volt hairdryer. In fact, a lot of feedback we had from you guys was, they're rubbish, they don't dry your hair. You know, well, I think one person put, I hope you have better luck with your hairdryer than I've had with mine. It just doesn't dry my hair. So not a lot of point really, is there? Uh, the sun's come out, so that's one good thing. Uh, this is all nice and dry now, but I can tell you, when I rub my hands down here, it does feel quite rough. And it does look really dull now, compared with the side of the caravan. So I'm gonna give the silky creamer a, a try. Here it is. I knew I'd put it somewhere. Uh, and quite simply, um, apply sparingly with a damp cloth. Remove by hosing or with a damp cloth that's been rinsed frequently and then finish with a dry cloth or duster to leave a sparkling surface. So it should be fairly easy. Good thing about the front is, like I mentioned, not a lot of it is actually the fiberglass because most of it is windows, which have already, with the wind now, collected a whole load of dust and dirt. But I'll get some Vuplex on those later. Let's give it a go anyway. Interestingly, like the, uh, this stuff on the inside is quite hard. It's like, it's like putty, actually. That's how I would, what I would say. So you have to just rub the damp cloth in. And let's see if this puts a shine on and leaves the surface feeling smoother. So first thing to say is actually it does say use sparingly, but a lot goes quite a long way. Once you've got your cloth, um, we've been using it for a little while and the cloth's got quite a bit of the product on, then actually uh, it does go a long way. So what I've done just now, top down, down here, halfway across, I've also done the front of the, um, uh, the locker lid, canopy, bonnet, boot, call it what you will. Uh, now it says to rinse off. So I'm just gonna rinse this off, shower this off. Starting at the top, rinse that down. And then once we've rinsed it off, we just need to dry it with a dry microfiber cloth. My goodness. I know it's wet at the moment, but if this side here is anything to go by versus that. We'll see when we've dried it, but. Well, it's certainly got a nice shine to it now, folks. So, uh, a Vuplex of windows as well, just to add that final finish. But this is lovely and soft down here, you know, as in smooth, and uh, much more of a shine on it than it had. Front locker, looking good. And I would say a much cleaner, brighter finish than I've seen on the front of the caravan for quite some time. So whether this will show up any different or not, it's, there's no sun shining on the back, so that's good. Um, you know, there's, there's no shine, very little shine on this. So it's gonna be interesting to see how we get on. A bit more of a surface area, so it might take me a bit longer. So there's you before folks. I'm now gonna get stuck in and do my stuff. And let's have a, another view when it's done and see if we can notice any difference at all. Actually, that didn't take too long at all to put on. So five, less than 10 minutes anyway. So uh, it's quite dull now because it's got all the, the cream on. Let's give it a rinse off as per the instructions. So the next instruction is to dry off with a dry cloth and then buff it up with a dry cloth and let's see if it's better. Right, and now this is the after. And I can honestly say that this is the cleanest this back of this van has looked. I think since it was new, certainly since I've had it. Much more of a shine to it for definite, I don't know if you can pick it up with the camera, but. Trust me, no one knows the van more than me. 
is much more of a shine it's much cleaner than it was and I think the cream has done a good job in terms of restoring the, the shine and so much smoother now much smoother than it was so there you have it and actually a lot quicker than I thought um, to do the whole of the back putting the cream on rubbing it in rinsing it off drying it off and then buffing it up 15 20 minutes to do the whole back so I think a job well done right onwards and upwards let's fly the flag so here it is folks here it is all the way from America this flag which is why it took three weeks to get here I didn't know I was ordering it from America when I ordered it uh, two-sided so we're gonna be out ladies and gentlemen flying the flag for caravantastic and caravanners everywhere so you ought to see this when it's on my pole yeah So there it is, the caravantastic flag. Just need Helen to run an iron over that for me, get those creases out. And uh, I'm really happy with that. It's a really good material. It's, it's quite heavy though, because as I say, it's double-sided. And I think they've printed one side, printed the uh, other side, sewn the two pieces together. So it's a little bit heavier. I'm gonna take a bit of a breeze for that to get flying properly, I think. So, uh, you know, we'll see how we get on. Now, Martin from Helen and Martin's Motorhome Trek said I needed a ghost ship flag for the rally because he's going to be at the rally that we're going to later in the year. Can't get one, Marty, but I did get this look. I did manage to pick this up because we were in uh, South Bowl the other day. So we called into the Adnams shop by the brewery and they haven't got any flags as I asked, but they've got these tea towels. So I'm just wondering whether a bit of jiggery pokery, can we put a couple of eyes in here? I'll have to find out how to do that. I might be able to buy a little gizmo on um, Amazon and perhaps turn that into a ghost ship flag. I don't know. So a massive thanks to the guys from Silky. The Enviro Wash and Wax gave it the clean down that it needed. The uh, Dry and Shine Instant Detailer, well, you saw for yourself, removed the green really well. And I should be using that on site where we're not allowed to wash our vans. I've got a feeling when we get to site, first time, I'm going to cry when I get out of the car because it'll all want doing again. And the Silky Caravan Boat and PVC Cleaner, permanent place now in the cleaning kit. So thanks again to the guys for sending this, this stuff to me. Really appreciate it. And thank you to all of you for watching, subscribing, liking, and leaving a comment. If you're interested in buying any of these products, I will put links uh, in the description below uh, to my Amazon page where you can pick those up. You'll pay the same price as everyone else. So until the next time, if you have been, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you soon. Bye for now.